really excited po mom actually kasi po wow kung si Hal nagulat din po actually yung family ko that I would be taking up this opportunity kasi sabihin po nila madami akong gawain I have a, little, a big and many responsibilities po at home at school but initially po sobrang saya ko po kasi po this is a high mataas po position po to eh so I I'm really enjoying it up until now because I've met a lot of people. I've met different um, people din po here in the municipal office. Noong election po namin is medyo may briefing naman po kami ng mga introduction of the positions and the responsibilities po ng bawat positions. So, yung nalaman ko po na ako nga po yung mag as Lital Municipal Administrator is naramdaman ko po yung weight, uh, responsibility po na nakaatang po sa akin. Kasi wala po akong idea na ganito po pala kalaking courtesy ang ibibigay po sa akin ng munisipyo. So I thought it would be just basic duty, ganyan. So masaya po ako kasi ang dami po kasi participants coming from different school all over San Juan. Unexpected po talaga lahat and given that yung mga kalaban ko po is much more trained, much more experienced and mas matatanda po sa akin. No expectations po talaga. At the moment uh, that I was elected as uh, the little vice mayor for Linggo ng Kabataan, of course, I was very happy and of course extremely grateful for the opportunity that was given to me which of course I could be able to uh, take advantage in order for us to show what a beacon can truly has to offer not just within our institution or not just within our school but together with our community as well. Hindi ko rin po alam kung mananalo ako or hindi but yun nga po, na-elect po ako so natuwa rin po ako na ako po ay na-elect kasi gusto ko rin po ng responsibilities at mas gusto ko po pong mapalawak yung aking leadership skills, communication skills at socialization skills since ako po ay ang student council president sa school but ito po ay nabigyan ako ng opportunity upang mag-step out po ako sa comfort zone ko kasi comfort zone ko po ang ating school na BEC. Pero syempre kasama naman po dun sa kaba po is yung excitement po since kahit maiksi lang po itong uh, opportunity na binigay po is sure naman po kami na marami po kaming matututunan dito sa opportunity na I feel like this reflects a lot on the values and the virtues of being a beacon. At BEC, we have this value of servant leadership. So, what this seminar and what this Linggo na Kabataan taught me is, parang it helps me to get a broader idea or to expand my knowledge with leadership. So, para po sa akin, napakalaki po na magiging impact nito sa school natin, especially nakuha po ng Batangas Eastern Colors ng key positions. So, dun sa pamaraan po yun, may issue showcase po natin kung paano mag-lead ang BEC, ang product na nade-develop ng BEC, which is yung students. Sa school po natin, sa room, we learn. But then, paglabas natin, we, we apply. And yung application po na nakikita ng iba will reflect back. As being servant leader nga po, uh, mas nakoconnect ko po yung sarili ko po sa, sa mga kasama ko pong kabataan. Kasi nga po sa mga kasama ko po bilang youth leaders mas nakikita ko po kung paano po gumanap yung kabataan hindi na po siya nababasi sa edad eh so bali mas nagiging mulat na po yung mga kabataan po as a leader so bali mas nabibigyan po kami ng opportunity to lead Here at Linggo ng Kabataan of course para siyang BEC iba't ibang tao from, coming from different school so, yung social skills na natutunan ko sa paaralan po natin is na-apply ko in Linggo ng Kabataan Sa BEC po tinuruan po kami kung paano po maging professional So, kakibat nga po ng pagiging youth leader po ng mga counterparts po namin is kailangan po namin maging professionally ready for the outside world po aside po from the school. I believe that this is a preparation that will help me be prepared more than that I could ever be whenever I'll be stepping a bigger step in the future and that is something that I will always value as I have this uh, moment of my life. So, yun po, sa pamamagitan po ng pag-join ko dito, mas may improve ko pa po ang aking servant leadership dahil ito po ay isang paraan kung saan napapagsama-sama ang iba't ibang kabataan base na rin po sa kanta po ng DEC, Samot sa Haring Pinagmulan, nagkakaisa sa diwat isipan. Our challenge na encounter ko while being here in the leadership program is my academics po at school. There are a lot of lessons po na namimiss ko dahil po doon. Pero because of time management, 
I've taught myself na sa umaga, kaya ko maging leader ng town ng San Juan. And sa gabi, kaya kong i-lead yung fellow vegans ko at i-lead yung self ko na gawin yung mga responsibilities ko as a student ko. I am a leader as well in our school. I am taking advanced subjects and of course I have my responsibilities here as well. So the my time was of course very limited. So I need to uh, have my plan or I need to have the divisions of the time in order for me to uh, fulfill all of the responsibilities that I have for this position, for the school, for myself and for the other things that matters to me. Hindi po lahat kaya makipag-communicate sa ibang tao. Kasi leadership is something na Madali mong explain pero mahirap i-apply. So, but then when someone contains the communication skills added with confidence, madali niya makakausap at ang iba't ibang tao which is needed po talaga when it comes to being a leader. I think if there is one word that I could um, relate with the leadership training that we have, uh, that would for sure be committed something that is very essential in terms of leading because that is also something that will help us to fulfill our duties and responsibilities as a leader. If I get the chance to summarize and describe my my observation and my experience here with Lingo Nakabataan, it is exciting. It is exciting in a way that you get to experience the, the real time or the first-hand experience of being a counselor or being a member and officer of Municipal of San Juan. It is exciting because it prepares you on adulthood uh, or in the future na magkakaroon ka na sa sarili mong career. It is exciting because uh, mas madami ka natututunan uh, with this event. So parang you get the chance na palawakan ang perspective mo sa ibang bagay and just really have the passion to serve to its community and to serve to people. In one word po, nakaka-enjoy po tong experience po na to. Don't be afraid na mag-enjoy. Kasi while you are hardworking, dapat i-enjoy po rin natin yung mga nangyayari po sa buhay natin. Kasi we will not love the things we do if we don't enjoy it. Okay. The message for my fellow vegans, for my fellow students, and for my fellow kapataan is to take part and to take action. I believe that uh, one thing that you must always uh, keep in mind is that no matter how hard or no matter how challenging every day is to you, always believe in yourself and always believe in the capabilities that you have. Because always remember that you are worthy of everything and you are capable of anything. Don't be afraid to take risks. Kasi for risk, oh, oh, parang anong, hirap pakinggan, maraming responsibilities. Pero taking risks can give you a lot of opportunities. Uh, opportunities is, is hindi po yan araw-araw dumadating, hindi po yan na uh, mapaghahandaan. So balik kapag dumating yung opportunity sa harapan mo, uh, take the chance to grab it agad po. You just grab the opportunity. Be a risk taker. May ikli lang ang buhay. Kung, bagay, kung ang buhay ay gusto mong maging exciting, you want to make it memorable, you want to take failures and convert it into victories, you need to take a risk. You need to be limitless. Yan po yung mga bagay na natutunan ko sa BEC. Hinuhulma ng BEC ang bawat estudyante to become a good servant leader. One! 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 one. 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 one.